So now let's talk about using smart shapes. So right now I have a blank canvas right here because I closed all the document. I can go to file and over here in new you can see that there are different types of shapes that we can choose from. There's one for office layout, uh, one for organizational chart, timeline and so forth. But I'm going to work with the basic flowchart right here. Once I click that you can see that I can select a preset uh, of my choice. For example, I can select this and click create. I can also choose the units that I want to work with. So let me choose metric unit because I come from that reason and I'm going to press create. Once I do that, you can see that there's the flowchart option. There's the theme, all the guides giving me. So I'm just going to click this and delete this. And here I have my shapes right here. So what I can do is I can actually click here and you can see that over here on the side, you see that there are other shapes that you can work with. For example, let's say I want to add in uh, the options just like this click on other shapes and you can see that all of the shapes are actually connected and that is why they are known as smart shapes. So I can simply click on this and if I were to drag out, you can see that all of them are actually connected. So that's the process. Click on this and so forth. Let me just delete all of this out right here and let me just go with start and end. So I'm going to bring the start and end right here, snap it along right in the center. I can also resize this if I want to. So I have some start so I can simply Go over here and type in the letter that I want to. So there's start right here. Uh, now what I can do is I can go for decision of yes and no. Let's say for example, this is the decision tab right here. You can see that there's decision right here. And over here, now I may want to add in a process just like this and an end result. So let me say that this is um, the my output right here. This is the process right here. And finally, let's say I want to have an output and I want to have it in, uh, let's see this format right here. All right, there you go. So you can see that this now are the objects that I work and work with. I can also go over here, add in a process and an output window right here. This is sub process right here. And maybe finally, I want to have a document, but um, the things that I grab from here actually won't connect here, which are going to see in the lesson. So you can see that this is how the connected shapes can be created just like that. And if I were to move out the shapes, you can see that they still remain connected uh, quite easily without me having to do everything manually. So that's the beauty of Microsoft Visio. It helps us create different type of charts just like this and maintain connected. Let me just close this out and try it out with something different. So I'm going to go over here to file. So let's say you want to create something like a network diagram. If you're an IT expert, then you might want to use this. So I'm going to go over here into metric unit. I'm going to create this. And over here, you can see that there are different um, um, uh, like network points that uh, you can work with. So let's say I have my mainframe computer right here. This is the mainframe and there's the option right here. So you can go over here and you can see that there's switch, firewalls and so forth, other options that you can work with. So there's the ring network right here. And from the ring network, maybe I have connection to another server right here from a regular server, right? A virtual server maybe. And then I have connection to, let's say something like router and so forth. And you can see that these can be easily ma ma managed just like that. So I have these and so forth. If I were to move around, you can see that the shapes actually work around without a problem, just like that. And it has so much to detail as if I were to go over here, there's a little um, squint at the top. So you know that the wire is not being crossed over, but are different just like that. So you can see that all of the settings, all of the uh, options are actually here. So you can grab the firewall and see see this. So you have this computers connected all together, wireless network and so forth. You move it around, the wires move along as well. So that is the uh, benefit of smart object. It predicts what you want to add it in and it easily creates connection diagrams uh, with those objects. And when you rearrange it, the arrows rearrange it as well. So that is how you can work with smart objects. Uh, or smart shapes. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.